Google My Business, now known as Google Business Profile, is a crucial tool for local service-based businesses looking to enhance their presence. This is a free tool that allows businesses to appear in search engines and on Google Maps, providing an opportunity to connect with customers, post updates, and list products and services. And it is now not only for brick and mortar businesses, it is available for service-based businesses too. I'm Tori Mathis, digital agency CEO, digital marketing coach at the Smart Arsenal and fellow service-based business owner. And today we are going over how to use Google as a service-based local business. In this video, you'll learn who is eligible for a service-based business, how to set up your service-based business profile, how to optimize your service-based profile, and what to do just in case you run into problems. Let's get started. How to use a service area on Google for a service area or hybrid business. When you list a service area, it lets customers know the geographic area that you provide your products and services. To use a service area, your business must be one of the following types of business. First, a service area business, a business that visits or delivers to customers directly, but doesn't serve customers at their business address. For example, businesses like cleaning services or plumbers. Service area businesses can only create one profile for the metropolitan area that they serve. Now there's also hybrid businesses. This is a business that serves customers at their business address, but also directly visits or delivers to customers. If your business doesn't have a permanent on-site signage, it is not eligible as a storefront and should be listed as a service area business. Hybrid businesses can show their storefront address, set their hours for when they're staffed at their address and designate a service area. So how does this work? You can't set your service area as a distance around your business. If you previously set your service area up this way, you can't edit it. Instead, you must specify your service area by city, postal code, or another type of area. Now keep in mind, your business can have up to 20 service areas, and the boundary of your overall area should not extend farther than about two hours of driving time from where your business is based. Now, if you change your business type from a storefront to a service-based area business or a hybrid business, keep this in mind. If you do serve your customers at your business address and also have a service area, enter both your address and service area. Now, if you don't serve customers at your business address, clear the address field and only enter your service area. If you don't, your Google My Business page can get suspended. The step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your Google business profile for a service area. Step one, start by going to google.com forward slash business. Be sure to bookmark this address as you will need it to access your Google business profile in the future. Log into your Google account. If you don't have an account, be sure to set one up. I'll put the link below. You'll be able to create a free account with any email address. Step three, enter business name and category. Type your business name. Ensure it matches your actual business name without keyword stuffing. Choose a relevant business category from the list provided by Google. What if your business is listed already, but you don't have access? Claiming an existing unverified listing on Google. Find your business on Google Maps. Look for the claim this business listing button or own this business link for the prompts to manage and verify your listing. Step four, add your location. Since you don't have a storefront, select no and proceed to the next step. Step five, define your service area. Indicate whether you offer deliveries or home and office visits and specify the area that you serve. Step six, provide contact information. Add your business phone number and a website URL. Step seven, opt in for updates and recommendations. Opting in for updates from Google is recommended to stay informed about best practices. Step eight, verify your listing. Verification can be done via phone, email, postcard, video recording, or live video call. The method of verification may vary. You can also add more information, add specific surfaces, set operating hours, enable messaging, and much more. Fill in as much information as possible to help customers reach you better. Now, if you need to go back and edit a service area, here is how you do it. Go to your business profile to manage your service area with a Google search select edit profile, and then location. If you're doing this within Google Maps, select edit profile, business information, and then location. Under location areas, next to service area, select the pencil icon. 
select suggested service area or enter service area. Now remember, you can have up to 20 service areas based on the city's postal codes and other areas that you serve. Select save. But if you want to remove a service area, again, go to your business profile. To remove your service area with Google search, select edit, profile, location. With Google Maps, select edit profile, business information, location. Under location and areas, next to service area, select the pencil icon. Under selected service areas, remove the locations that your business doesn't want to serve. Select save. Note, to remove all of your service areas, you must have a storefront business with your business address entered in your business profile. Now let's talk a little bit about how to optimize your Google My Business profile. The first thing you wanna do is review your NAP consistency, and that is your name, address, and phone. Ensure that your business name, your address, and your phone number are consistent across the web. You wanna make sure that you have a great business description. Provide a clear, concise description of your business, focusing on your products or your services and how you help your customers. You want to add images. Upload photos of your business, including exterior or interior shots, product, or team members. Create Google posts. You can share updates, offers, events, and more directly with Google search and map. Feature products. Use the product editor to highlight your products directly on your listing. You can also respond to reviews. You want to regularly monitor and respond to reviews to maintain a positive reputation. You can add questions and answers. Post answers to common customer questions and respond to inquiries. By following these steps, local service-based businesses can effectively set up and optimize their Google business profile, enhancing their visibility and engagement with potential customers. But what if you run into problems? If you run into any issues with your Google profile, you have a couple of options. You can contact Google support or you can set up an appointment with a Google advisor. I will put both links down below. It can be frustrating if you have problems, but don't give up. Imagine a new customer contacting you and telling you that they found you on Google. They found you. Now, stop imagining because it's all possible with Google Business Profile. Take advantage of this free tool brought to you by Google so you can start attracting, engaging, and converting new customers right away. Now, as always, if you need any help, drop a comment below. I will help you the best I can. Now that your Google Business Profile is all set up, let's start getting you more reviews on Google and all across the web. I have a free review boosting bootcamp happening right now. You can join for free and get the step-by-step, easy-peasy instructions on how to get your business set up for reviews and even how to deal with those pesky negative reviews. You'll also get a ton of done-for-you templates and scripts, tools to automate your review process, and I'm giving you a professionally designed review page that will get you more reviews today. You can join for free at torymathis.com, get more reviews, and I will put the link down below. I can't wait to see you there.